Okay, so now we get a loop from from the half to the end. Range, as we can as we saw in the other exercises, it's super cool because it will let you generate an array or a list of positions for your array. So if I have let's say that I have positions equals to the range from 0 to 10 but increasing by 2. When you do that, it will generate a list that you can print. You can print that list and you'll see that it basically is 0, 2, 4, 6, 8 because we're saying from 0 to 10 so it's not really to 10, it's to 11 because it's exclusive because it, it's 10 items so it will be from 0 being 0, 1 of the items to 9 so it includes 0 so that's why we have an extra item and then uh, how much you want to step, you want to step 2 by 2 so 2, 4, 6, 8 so taking down into accountants we can prepare this code to be from the exercise says that we want to do it from half to the end so if the initial value is zero we don't want from the initial value because it's zero we want from half right so len of this the half like till here basically the first part from half to the end so the stop value will still be the length and the increase value will still be one well, actually, yeah, okay, let's try. Float cannot be interpreted as an integer. Where is that? In the line 8. Initial value. Oh, yeah, it's because this two, when you divide this list, it's not an exact number, it's a float number. And it shouldn't be like that. So we got to make it an integer. So I think one thing that we can do for that is round. Let me see if with round I can fix this. Because range cannot accept a, a float number, a number with decimals. So if we round it up, it will not be decimal anymore. Yeah, so 23 to 12, there it is.